Good morning from Dollywood. My name is Ryan and in this video we're gonna go inside and check out the Flower and Food Festival. It's opening day so my hope is to show you some of the merchandise, some of the different performances, and of course all the flowers. Bree and the kids are gonna join me a little bit later in the afternoon after they finish up schoolwork and we're gonna have dinner here so we're gonna try a bunch of food at the end of the video and let you know what was our favorite thing. So sit back and relax and enjoy today's adventure into Dollywood at the Flower and Food Festival. The tram stop is up and running here, but we're gonna try out some different delicious food. So I personally like to just walk and take in the view of the mountains. Hello, good morning. There you go, have uh, a great day. You too. So let's check out the flower and food map and show schedule. You open up, you can see some of the dining options. You can also see they have the Flower and Food Festival tasting pass. You can see uh, some of the show schedules available. Here is the Bloom show. We're gonna go check that out. I'll show you some highlights and I'll probably put a full video of the entire show on a separate video because I know it's gonna be kind of a longer show, but we'll go watch that. You can see some of the merchandise for the festival. I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the merchandise that's available right now. And here's a look at the experience guide. It gives you a little information on the tasting pass. It also has some stickers for the kids that they can peel off and place here when you uh, visit those certain things. You can pre-order a tasting pass for the Flower and Food Festival. This is where you'd pick up if you've ordered one in advance online or you can wait in line at the ice cream shop or across the street at the bakery. We're gonna pick one of these up later in the video and show you exactly how much it costs and what all you get in it. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll put this to the test. All right, we're gonna keep walking on under the umbrellas here. You can see Dolly Parton's tour bus is open that you're able to go in and see where Dolly toured around the country in. But the two things I wanna highlight for the Flower and Food Festival is in this building, the Dolly's Butterfly Garden. I'm gonna bring you in there in just a moment and we'll show you that after we watch Bloom. So Bloom is gonna take place right here and you can see the show times for today are 10.45, 12, 15, 2 30, and 4 o'clock. So, this is a show we're gonna watch.
All right, we're gonna go check out the Dolly's Butterfly Garden. Hello. Hello. The blackness and the storm sky, the brown. We are glad you are here and so excited to share this experience with you. Now, we invite you to make your own memories inside a very special garden full of interactive butterflies. Come on in, welcome to Dolly's Butterfly Garden. So you're going to be looking here in Dolly's Butterfly Garden and you will touch it as an interactive screen. Let's try it up here. See if they move. Get some butterflies to come land on my arm here. Oh, maybe over here. Ah, very cool. All right, so they'll interact with you here inside. You can see you put your arm out and they'll just land on you. See here, flower and food festival, hand decorated bakery treats. Well, let's check out some of the festival treats available in the bakery. Come in here. Yeah, looks like some flour and beehive cookies, cupcakes, little strawberry cupcakes, some flour cupcakes. It's like some rice crispy treats dipped in chocolate, and then of course. You could always get some cinnamon bread on your way out. I want to give you a quick look at some of the merchandise that's available for the Flower and Food Fest. You can see this Dollywood shirt with lots of umbrellas. You have another umbrella shirt up here with some butterflies and lots of umbrella mugs available, a little photo frame. They also have a number of these shirts available in a variety of different colors with the Dollywood's flower and food festival logo got some adult sizes look like some kit sizes over here some puzzles some flower pots that you can decorate and some of these guys that you could wear for $4.99 you also have this festival shop let's see what they have as you walk up you can see some of the same mugs this is a different shirt here for $24.99. It says, let your dreams blossom. And you also have this Dollywood under the umbrella sky shirt. So let's go for a walk around the park and I'll show you all of the creations you can see and admire as you walk through the park during the flower and food festival. have to go check out the train. There it is, getting ready for departure soon. Right across from the train is the Iron Horse Pizza. But it's also a option for you to come here and eat. I really like all the new outdoor dining. Even if you're not eating there, if you had a snack from somewhere else, you can come sit here and relax in the shade and watch the train. I really like this new one. This is the beekeeper. 
The wings on these bees are really neat. Very cool. Right across here from the grist mill. I just want to point out to any parents with little ones, this is open and available to you if you come to the Flower and Food Fest. Let them cool off in the middle of the day. And back behind me, this big building is an indoor air-conditioned playground as well. So we are in spring now, so it, there is going to be some warm afternoons. Just keep that in mind and you might want to bring a uh, change of clothes for the littles if they need to burn some energy and cool off here in Wildwood Grove inside Dollywood. Well, I guess this is the time to ride Whistle Punk Chaser. You could walk right on at the moment. All right, so I've been walking around Dollywood and I have Bree made it, yay! Hi. So we just got our dining, our, not dining pass, tasting pass. So we're gonna put it to the test and taste a bunch of goodies and let you know what our favorite thing is of the five. We're gonna try five different things and let you know what our favorite is. The taste test. So I'll show you the cost with the discount. It's $31.99. It comes out to $35.43 with tax that we got at the bakery here. If you can get one in advance, I definitely recommend it. It would save you time in line at the bakery. You can just walk right up and get your lanyard right here and head off and start tasting. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go do it. Checking out some of the chalk artwork going on. Do you do the island chalking and the decorating? I have never done it. Yeah. Beautiful peacock. Some flowers and a butterfly over here. The first thing we're gonna try is across from the train at the Iron Horse Pizza with our tasting pass. We're gonna give this Bavarian crab pretzel melt a try. Sounds interesting. We're gonna go inside and put it to the... All right, we're all set. All right, you too. Oh, we will. Mmm try this out. So we got our pretzel and the train is about to take off and Bree and the kids are watching the performance over here. One of the performers is actually our piano teacher comes over and teaches the kids piano. She's very talented. So the kids are enjoying watching their piano teacher. All right, so we just finished the crab. It was okay, but I think there'll be some other things that take the top position of best things we'll eat. So we'll keep moving on and trying some other stuff. If you do come down to the country fair area and you wanna play a game with the kids, this is my number one recommended game right here. The balloon pop. You get a winner every time, so the kid is guaranteed to get something. Oh, I got an underage driver. Oh, oh. Oh boy, traffic jam. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This does nothing, but we do it anyways. It doesn't actually do anything. We try to move. There's mom. Hello. Alright, we're going for round two this time. Dun dun dun. Hannah is the car to beat. Alright, you ready to beat your sister? Alright, let's do it. If anybody knows any good uh, chiropractors, ah, oh, let me know in the comments. Next thing we're gonna try are these barbecue bacon jammin' fries. Thank you. We're gonna put these barbecue fries to the test. See how everybody likes them. So, what do we think about the fries? They're very good. You like, like them? The 
You gonna try the Cuban? All right, we're gonna put the Cuban to the test. They left me some fries. <laughs> I'm gonna try them out. So I just went over and purchased a street corn just to give you a heads up. We've had this before. I know it's delicious, but it's not a large, whoa. <laughs> it's not a large amount, but is it is it any good though is the question. This is the last Korean nachos of the day. They ran out. So what you're saying is the next person that comes in line, they're gonna say, you can't have any. They're nachos. <laughs> and I got the raspberry blueberry boba oh, tea. Oh, you got the boba tea too, huh? There you go, get your own straw. Is this probably the best thing we've had so far? The nachos? I don't know, because the fries were really good too. The fries were good. I like the Cuban, the Cuban a lot. The Cuban was really good, and the, then we're still gonna try some Reuben yeah. egg rolls, so. Got some turtles here by the old water clock. And then you also have these bears. The Smoky Mountains are known as the home of the black bear. There are an estimated 1,500 bears roaming throughout the Smokies. It says black bear cubs are typically born in the winter and stay with their mom until they're about two years old. These three energetic, playful cubs are ready to explore, climb, and have some fun. Their black bear mom sure has her paws full. Look, Bree. A bear? No, it's, it's you. It's a mama bear with three cubs. Oh. She has her paws full. Yeah, who am I talking to? Everybody on YouTube. Ooh, everybody on Chicken YouTube. Hi, y'all. Miss Billy Chicken Lady here for my little companion, Chicken Little Junior. Hi, everybody. Chicken TV land. Little Chicken Lessons. Chicken Chicken Chicken. It's like a chicken sci fi movie. Oh. Adventure in Chicken Wonderland. Happy Chicken Tales to you. All the adventures that you do out there. Wow, well, I'm out there too. <laughs> and welcome back to Dollywood. <laughs> Thanks, Sean, for being here. Miss Lillian gave the kids some coins. We're throwing it in. One, two, three. Bloop, bloop. And bloop. <laughs> So it's currently six o'clock. The park closes at seven. Just give you a look at the crowd level. Now's the time to hop on a ride. Finally found the peacock. I've been wanting to see the peacock that's new this year. Right out here in front of the chapel. You can see this beautiful peacock. It says here, many farmers in the South keep them as a showpiece one farmer even said, having peacocks roam is like having a walking flower garden. Hannah's talked me into hopping on Blazing Fury. Six o'clock, looks like there's no line. Oh boy. Front or back? Front? All right. Oh no, 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 no,
Oh, man, Hannah, that was for you. I would not do that on my own, but we survived Blazing Fury. So it's currently 6.30. We were hoping to get a spring roll Reuben here at the till and harvest, but I guess we missed them. It is 6.30, they're not open. So keep that in mind. If there's something you really wanna try, uh, don't wait towards the end of when the park's about to close. So you can make sure you can get what you want. But the good news is the bottom of the pass here says that it expires 6.5. So since we're season pass holders, I'm gonna hold on to this. We still have scan left on this. I'm gonna hang tight to this and we'll come back and try out the spring roll Reuben next time. All right, that wraps up our day at Dollywood, opening day for the Flower and Food Festival. Did you have a good time? Yes, definitely. What was the favorite thing, food that you had? I think my favorite was the loaded french fries with the bacon and the cheese and the ranch and the barbecue. That was really good. The nachos were a close second though, the Korean nachos. So my favorite would be the Cuban. So I would recommend if you're coming to go ahead and get the flower and food festival pass. It's definitely worth it to be able to try everything you want to try. So that wraps up today's adventure. Thanks so much for coming along with us. Until next time, we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> Bye. Bye.